Good evening. The Union Cabinet on Tuesday approved a constitutional amendment bill to provide reservations for scheduled caste and scheduled tribes in government job promotion. As expected, the move created a political divide in the already fractious parliament with the principal opposition Bharatiya Janata Party providing what one may call conditional support. Dalit, Dalit rights champion Mayawati and her BSP welcomed the move while SP expressed their displeasure and opposed it vehemently. The decision on the government promotion uh, reservation had been taken at an all-party meeting chaired by the Prime Minister on August the 21st. The BSP had raised the issue in Parliament after the Supreme Court in April overruled the Uttar Pradesh government's decision to provide reservation in government job promotions. The BSP, which passed the UP state bill, then demanded a constitutional amendment to provide for such quotas. The proposed bill seeks to amend at least four articles of the Constitution to enable the government to provide quota in promotions for SCs and STs. What followed, the introduction of the bill in Parliament is well known, and the viewers of Rajya Sabha Television will be also be well aware of the political agendas and the give and take that entails the proposed constitutional amendment. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we asked our panelists the question, do caste barriers prevent SC and ST employees to rise to the very top, even today in a post-reservation India? Do Dalit officers and officials in the government still face a glass ceiling that they cannot break? A caste ceiling, if you will. Lastly, with some help of my panelists tonight, we will explore what the road ahead might be as far as this issue is concerned. And joining me in the studio is Zafar Saifullah, former cabinet secretary, and also Dr. Udit Raj, Dalit reader and national president of the Justice Party. Also joining me in the debate will be D. Raja, Rajya Sabha MP from the CPI, and Ajay Kumar, formerly an IPS officer and now a Lok Sabha member from Jharkhand. I welcome you all, gentlemen, to the big picture. I'd like to start the show, however, Mr. Saifullah, if I could. <clears throat> Out of a total of 149 secretary-level officers, there are no SC officers, while there are only four ST officers. As of March 2011, this is what the Minister Narayan Swami gave in reply to the Lok Sabha. Numbers, Mr. Saifullah, don't really lie. This, does, does an invisible glass ceiling, in your opinion, still exist that hasn't been shattered because of, uh, despite so many years of reservation? Uh, well, I think uh, it's, uh, it, it's, it's a double-edged question. Hmm. Uh, it's a loaded question. <clears throat> it's a loaded question. Um, I myself have experienced a number of uh, scheduled caste officers uh, rising to the very top and uh, doing a very good job as Secretary of Government of India, uh, actually serving in the post of Secretary of Government of India, not equivalent posts, but in the post itself, and uh, equitting themselves very, very, very well. Uh, the, there are two things which uh, come in the way of uh, more officers. Uh, going to the top, and that is, one, the fact that quite a few of them joined the service rather late, mm. and uh, therefore, by the time they, in the normal course, they reach a level which is uh, which gives them access to the topmost posts, they are due for retirement. Right. The other is that uh, you know, uh, which is something which is unfortunate, that uh, in spite of. Uh, the, the fact that today the situation is much better mm. than it was, say, 40, 50 years ago. So we have progress there is, in this. There is a certain amount of, uh, a certain amount of uh, hesitation, if I may put it that way, mm. uh, in, uh, in uh, the minds of uh, certain people mm. who might be sitting in judgment on... Uh, you right. Know, Let me... I want to go to uh, Dr. Ritraj, but before sir, I come to you, I want to get a quick reaction in from D. Raja. Uh, uh, Mr. Raja, welcome to the big picture. Thoughts, your thoughts on despite reservations for SC, STs in government jobs, a mere trickle uh, of uh, ST cadres and SC cadres and officials make it to the very top. Uh, my question to you is why does that scenario exist? Did we not do enough with reservation and what potential reasons come to your mind when you ask yourself that question? This is the question I have been asking the government, the government of the day, why there is no adequate representation 
to SC, ST are the higher rank class of administration. On one side, we keep on talking about the inclusive growth. What is the inclusive growth that we have established uh, uh, since independence? And uh, th these people, scheduled caste, scheduled tribe people, suffer from social exclusion. Now, they are, they are uh, suffering from all kinds of hurdles, and uh, they don't, uh, they are not allowed to get into administration, get into jobs, get into uh, other areas of uh, uh, power or uh, areas of knowledge, and they are being denied their opportunities. This is what we should uh, think of, uh, because um, 60 years, more than 60 years have passed since independence, and uh, can anybody say the people who belong to scheduled caste or scheduled tribe are inefficient or ineligible to occupy certain positions? Uh, how many secretaries we have at the government secretaries uh, uh, in the center? Right. I would like to ask, uh, you, no one was capable of becoming a cabinet secretary in this country? Right. Uh, how many secretaries to government? How many joint secretaries to government? Right. Mr. How Raja. many additional secretaries to government? We have. Why such a situation uh, continues? Fair point, fair this point. Is we... the problem. Or take any public sector undertakings. And nobody, no SCST is there as uh, chief of any public sector Mr. Undertaking. Raja, point taken. Take I want to get, I want to get Mr. Udit Raj. Or insurance companies. I want to get Mr. Udit Raj, Dr. Udit Raj, if I may, into the discussion now. Uh, Mr. Raj, the kind of reactions we saw on the floor after the introduction of this particular bill, does it accurately tell you how deep this runs in our polity, in our politics? And by, by this issue, I mean caste and reservation in this case cause and effect. See, the, why? Because the number one question which I uh, understand from you is that uh, why Siru uh, caste Siru tribe are not there at our echelon of the services? Of course, what uh, Jafar Saipullahji has said, that is one of the regions. But second region which I find which prominent, very prominent and very crucial is the caste. Caste is still exists there in bureaucracy very much. What happened? I, am, I, am, I, I was I selected for Indian Revenue Service. I myself have experienced when SCST officers are due for promotion to the higher rank, Suddenly something happens. What happens that even on basis of frivolous complaints, inquiries are pen and they are not promoted and, and a DPC held, then they are out. That's one. And second, it's all, uh, uh, at uh, all level or at the, more, uh, at the maximum level, their bosses are upper cost. When they write down their credential report, they spoil it. They either uh, do it good or very, very good. Very good is also not considered very good there in, for the promotion purposes. So what you're saying is essentially that you yourself have seen this happen. And the, I myself have seen the it. The glass ceiling fact, exists. Exists. It very much exists. And because of that, they, are, they don't reach. And I, I tell you, uh, things are so worse. Those who have got age advantages, and uh, they are harassed more and to some extent that uh, uh, even CBI is put behind them, even for a very uh, smaller mistakes, bona fide mistakes, as a result their careers are spoiled. So this is how career is spoiled and they are not allowed to reach to up to... Um, you, you made your point very clearly, sir. And it's time not and to go... Mata Prasad ji was fit for cabinet secretary, but uh, why was he not made uh, cabinet Fair secretary? Fair point. We, we get Even the point, sir. we have available people, then they are also not being given Fair point. job. It's time now, sir, to get Mr. Ajay, uh, uh, Mr. Ajay uh, Kumar into the discussion. He's been waiting very patiently. Uh, welcome to the big picture, Mr. Kumar. First of all, uh, political parties obviously have had their own agendas when it comes to caste in general and reservation in particular, as some people uh, refer to it as quota. Mike, uh, over the years, and I'm not going to, into history now, I don't want to do that, but what do you say that the stand political parties are taking on the issue currently in this current political, in this current parliamentary session, um, this time around, are devoid of any real so-called noble cause uh, sort of reasons? Would you agree? They're purely there for political gains and playing to their core constituencies. Yeah, I mean, uh, see, <clears throat> I think one of the fundamental problems is... Uh, 
I come from Jharkhand, and you know, if you look at even the distribution of uh, uh, tribal officers across the state, it's very, very what you call minuscule and shameful. So, so it's obviously that there is something wrong in what's happening in the system. And uh, uh, what uh, Mr. Zafarullah said was uh, that uh, you know the age is definitely one of the reasons, and I, I agree with Mr. Uttaraj that there is a discrimination, but. But if you look at the, you know, the, so whenever we do a legislation, what we're doing is we're doing a, uh, what you call a, a political agenda and we're creating a chaos in this. One is that the intention to, you know, introduce a constitutional amendment in this kind of way, I don't know, is, is I, I fundamentally feel that the, uh, it was done more as a political intent and not as a, as a social change intent, but uh, uh, it, whoever introduced it has to answer to that. But the important part, I think, is if you look at it across, it's First of all, uh, there also is need that the benefits of reservation for the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe is also not uh, reaching out to all the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe. You know, so there are a large number of, uh, like in Jharkhand, if you see the representation of scheduled uh, tribe uh, students in, uh, in the government of India, it is very minimal. So my, uh, the challenge, I think, and it, it, it is for the, uh, for the leaders of, uh, of, uh, of uh, all political parties right. and belonging to the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe is to understand, no, uh, is to understand that are we also creating a creamy layer within the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe? Right. Mr. Mr. Kumar, I want to get Mr. Deeraja in. You made a point. I, when I look at, no, but let me complete. When I look, when I go back to Jharkhand and when I talk to the children, you know, the access of schools, the basic problem is awful schools offer no access to college. And then you're expecting them, you know, to the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe to come through a competitive process. You made a very Unless interesting you have point, affirmative sir. Affirmative action. You made a very interesting point. We'll come back to that point of, of pitting one, say, OBCs against SC and ST. We'll come, up, come back to that in, later in the show. But right now, I want to get Mr. D. Raja in and get his reaction. Uh, sir, would you react to that? First of all, also, I have a question for you. Uh, political parties and their stands that they've taken. Your thoughts on, on how this time around uh, major players uh, playing to their core constituencies. Uh, your thoughts on that issue? Our party has been consistently supporting the reservation to SC, ST and also reservation in promotions to SC and ST. Our party has been consistently supporting reservation to OBC, 27% reservation to OBC in jobs and education. And uh, there is no ambiguity. And this is not the time to pit OBC against SCST or SCST against OBC. It True. is a limited issue how to protect the reservations in promotions. It has been given by the central government in, by several state governments. There were problems in two states, Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh. That is why there is a need for constitution amendment bill so that there can be uniform policy and uniform implementation of that policy. That is what the bill is trying to do. Having said that, I must address one more concern. Some people think my previous speaker was also talking about there is a creamy layer emerging among uh, SC, ST or within SC and ST. Apparently, it looks very naive, innocent statement, but it is an argument to scuttle the very implementation of reservation policy. Of course, when the reservation policy is implemented, first batch will get benefit, then it will lead to second batch, third batch. We will have to see. It is not a magic one. All of a sudden, all the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe people will get uh, educated and will right. get all jobs and uh, access I'm to every right. position. Right. As of now, it doesn't have, it is a gradual case. It is an affirmative action. This action is a continuous one and it should be undertaken right. by all the governments with right. all Changing the tax, sir. You made your point, have sir. political will to effectively implement this policy. Point taken, Mr. Raja. I want to get Mr. Zafar in uh, because he's also been waiting for a while. Uh, does the physical jostling, sir, uh, uh, inside the, the house that we saw indicate what's to come? Uh, metaphorically, of course, uh, as parties continue to harden their stance to or for against reservation in government jobs as well, uh, in the hopes, of course, of advancing the whole uh, core constituencies, uh, do you see this dragging uh, our debate, the polities debate, to the lowest common denominator, and, and isn't that dangerous for the country? Uh, may I make a point here? I think the basic problem that we are facing, as uh, both Mr. Udraj and uh, Mr. Daja said, 
is really a problem for mindset. Exactly. What is the mindset on the basis of which people exercise their powers of, uh, of uh, uh, promotion, uh, uh, assessment, and of, uh, etc. <clears throat> this is something which cannot be corrected only by an amendment to the constitution or by you know making this a, a policy. The mindset has to go. As I said earlier, the mindset has changed a little, but not sufficiently, not fully. I am totally in agreement with that. That there is still a lurking, um, uh, uh, you know. Uh, inhibition about uh, evaluating the performance of Do you agree with the, what Mr. Just said? Exactly. I the said, mindset I has rather, to change. Exactly what he has said, I have already said it. And moreover, an argument I have heard from Major Ajay Kumar is that it is creating lame, uh, creamy layer and only creamy layer generation after generation is enjoying the reservation. I just was asked from him is that whether that creamy layer from a SCST have they become Brahmins or they have become Rajput or are they enjoying the respect and dignity equivalent to the Brahmins and Kshatriya? No. It's, even if they are uh, IAS, IPS, IRS, IFS, senior officers, want to live in the colony where upper caste colony is there, they cannot buy the land. And one, one very uh, uh, important example which I would like to quote, Babu Jardinor was a very prominent Dalit leader, but once when he he inaugurated the statue of Sampuranan at Baranasi, after next day that that statue was washed with the Ganges water, with the milk that a Dalit has inaugurated that statue. V very interesting. So even if they have risen to the level of senior bureaucracy, mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. in politics, mm -hmm. yet they are not free from discrimination. Mm -hmm. Society looks at them mm -hmm. more or less in the same way. Right. We, we, we take a small break right now. I'd let Mr. Ajay Kumar respond to that. But after a short break, don't go anywhere. Keep watching the big picture. Lots more to come after, the, after this break. back to the big picture. Mr. D. Raja is a busy man. He uh, has to go. So I'll give the first reaction to Mr. D. Raja. Before I go to Mr. Ajay Kumar Jha, sir, please keep it short. Your reaction to the, to the discussion just before the break. All yours. Yes, uh, it is the question of mindset. Whose mindset it is? Minds can be changed, but the mindset cannot be changed. That is why Dr. Ambedkar has said, casteism is a mental twist. You stretch it, again it becomes a twist. So it is a mental test, a twist, mental twist. So it has to be fought. It is a long drawn battle. Right. So one has to keep on fighting the caste discrimination, social discrimination, right. social exclusion. So, so you also agree you also agree with the people. you also agree at with the, the studio time, panelists. At the same at, no, no, let me finish. Let this let me finish. At the same time, in a democracy like ours, the government of the day should take affirmative actions for their upliftment, for their social empowerment, economic empowerment, and so for their uh, 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 educational empowerment, for which there is a need for reservation. There is a need for reservation in promotions. Right, that is right. all I would like to submit at right. this point of time. Mr. Ajay Kumar, uh, uh, I want a very brief reaction from you on the uh, previous two speakers. But after that, I have a question for you. Uh, the question being heavy criticism no. is coming the Prime okay. Minister's way. Uh, and that insinuates that the timing of this bill is highly suggestive and betrays attempts by, uh, the, the, betrays attempts by uh, at a smokescreen uh, by a coal-tainted uh, uh, leadership, perhaps a bit harsh, would you say? Yeah, but but first let me address what Mr. Raja said. You see, Briefly, unfortunately, sir. with all my discussion, the only point they understood was uh, the only point they understood. I'm not saying <clears throat> that you need to have a creamy layer formula at all. I'm saying that it is important when I look at my my state of Jharkhand. At the national level, I see very minimal representation of the tribals and the scheduled caste people from my state. 
that is a concern which we need to understand and that is as a member of parliament from jharkhand i speak for the people of jharkhand and especially for the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe now i am not saying that that whether it's the whether whether the system is allowing a particular uh, cornering or not is not the issue so the when we legislate what we do is we say reservation in jobs which is critically important and please and i support it 200% but why aren't we also mandating a financial commitment by the government of india and the state governments to do affirmative action in a very intense manner at the at the education level where are the children where are the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes boys in the medical schools in the engineering colleges in the top uh, social science institutions why aren't the government schools in government schools in the villages where the scs and sts are there there are no teachers you don't so fundamentally you are already so i'm saying you do it no you make your as political you make class, a good point sir but continuously always we take no, your point let me complete no no it's no but the question still remains do you think that the, the insinuation is, sir the insinuation is the timing of this bill uh, the opposition says so that it betrays attempts at a smoke screen by a cold tainted government it is, want, it is political no it is definitely timing because one sec like it is definitely political because look at the way we are treating this issue of scheduled castes and scheduled tribes under under representation it is important to build the reservation bill it is important to pass it but it is also important to to have a commitment to have a special like sarva shiksha abhiyan which runs like the sarva shiksha abhiyan should run extremely efficient program to bring sc st children on par you don't give them adequate schools and teachers in their area and so you so you do reservation at the job end which is your your it is symptomatic you at the same time you know back it up by putting resources and money right and right. ensuring that they are at, they have the same opportunities like others so my to my colleagues you know to mr raja i would say legislation is fine when you legislate only superficially to to say that i am very concerned are we concerned enough to actually change lives at the grassroots right. level Fair also point. So no, moving on sir moving on mr udit raj is in the studio i want to ask him this uh, sir your your party uh, is of course the champion of of, of dalits as well of ics and sts in effect now what has happened sir uh, by the sps demanded obcs be included and then they would support the bill till then they'll vehemently oppose it uh how we wittingly or unwittingly uh made the issue uh, a difficult and very sensitive issue more convoluted that shouldn't be the issue should it see i find contradiction in uh, in samajwadi party stand on one hand they are saying that efficiency and in educacy educacy of representation and by coordinates if they are not taken into account that bill deteriorate the quality of administration on one hand they are talking on other hand they are asking for reservation in promotion for obc also this is very contradictory thing and moreover uh, if they are challenging challenging the second one that the reservation at one point is okay but not at the second point then of course the even first point also can be challenged mm. so i find very contradictory statement of uh, uh, stand of uh, samajwadi party do you think dmk and sp are, are playing a dangerous game or have they have they wittingly or unwittingly uh, uh, you know convoluted the main point well i think uh, <clears throat> the the question of timing of this uh, of the introduction of this amendment does arise there is no getting away from it and, and mm -hmm. you know much as people like me would like to support this idea you know to uh, to a limited extent i myself am at a loss to understand why we had the we had to rush this bill through and you know instead of giving time for uh, uh, you know cool consideration etc mm -hmm. you know almost shut out debate that is that is one point but the fact of the matter is that the merit of the bill uh, cannot be challenged to and saying extent. it's a good bill it's it's a good bill but in parts i for example do not think that you can have reservations right to the top my own fe feeling is that you must have re reservation in promotion at least to the next level after the entry level that is one point beyond that you see you have to take into account certain factors which will which will which come in when you make for reservation the base on which reservation the reservation formula is applied must be wide enough to permit uh, you know certain uh, i mean uh, the play of uh, forces of efficiency morale is to take but if the if uh, for example you say that we, there should be a reservation for uh, for example as mr udraj was saying uh, for the post of cabinet secretary mm -hmm. i am sorry i am i was cabinet secretary mm -hmm. therefore uh, i am not i am not making reference to uh, my past uh, right right <laughs> no no past. carry on yeah. uh, similarly you see uh, i mentioned in some other context yeah. 
that if the, if the chief of army staff, the chief of the air force, etc., if that has to be decided on the basis of reservations, there is, I think, likely to be a very sharp uh, impact right. on both efficiency and morale. Mr. Ajay Kumar? I'm, I'm concerned about morale. Mr. Ajay but, Kumar? Wait, but this, having said this, and I, I do think, I once, one second, I, but having said this, I would say that by the time the, uh, the, the level after the entry level, or even the, say, the level after that, two levels after the entry level, there is sufficient time given to, uh, to officers belonging to the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes mm -hmm. to acquit themselves, mm -hmm. to show their worth, and then rise on merit. Right. Now, I want to get a very quick reaction. Uh, before I come to you, sir, very quick reaction from Ajay Kumar. We have to go to Mr. Uditraj after this. Please try and keep it brief, sir. Would you agree, like Mr. Zafar Saifullah said, that he, he agrees with reservation to uh, up to one extent, up to the next level, but right up to the top reservation could be a dangerous thing? See, again, I'm coming to, you know, I believe that, okay, obviously, there might be a certain top level, uh, you know, you might uh, decide on the, the cutoff, and, and that's a matter of debate. Uh, and I agree that there is no debate to that whether we should have reservation for scheduled caste and scheduled type. It's, there's, there's no, it's a no-brainer. Uh, no we need to do it. Right. Because the numbers, the representation itself shows that there is inadequate representation. If the entry is 20, uh, you know, 25 percent and the representation uh, is, uh, you know, shifting, uh, becoming smaller and smaller, there is something wrong which is in the system. Age can be one factor, but I don't think age explains the whole story. So. But the other part which I want to, I, I keep highlighting as legislators and which keep missing is that we always find that this is a necessary legislation one, but as a nation of governance, we don't have the rigor to, you know, to implement legislation which actually benefits children from scheduled caste and scheduled tribe to compete. And that is to create, you know, a, you know, a separate fund for the schools in which so that you have they don't have the disadvantages. We, you know, in my in my state, uh, in the the school, the government schools, you know, 90% don't have teachers coming in. You know, so you already are setting them up at a disadvantage. We don't have colleges in the areas where the tribal boys or the scheduled caste. I mean, especially because we are a tribal dominated state where the tribal uh, children are studying. So. So I'm saying that let us legislate this, but we always walk away in this country from doing legislations which are actually going to change people's lives. There should be more doctors, there should be more engineers, there should be more IAS, and, so, right. and we go only on the civil service. Point taken, sir. Think, Point taken. Point no, taken. One sec. Why are we not talking that if we educate our, ch our children from scheduled caste and scheduled tribe, give them great, same opportunity, they will fill up the CEO's job in various private companies? No, no, I want to get Mr. Uditra so, in for the last uh, word on the show. Legislate this, but let us legislate uh, deeper. Right, legislate deeper, legislate thoroughly, and that's what you're trying to say. Of course, last word on the show, I'd like to give to Mr. Uh, Udit Raj. Sir, we don't have much time, but your thoughts uh, on what the road ahead is going to be. Man, this what, has been a very what, difficult what, time. What, what Mr. Ajay Kumar said, I agree. Uh, broadly, I agree. In fact, we are even ready to give up the reservation, provided two things are achieved in this country. One is that... Uh, abolish the caste system and second, secondly introduce equal education. We are not hankering for a reservation. So what he said that give them quality education, that is correct thing. Secondly, what Mr. Jafar, Jafar, Jafar Saipullah has said that the timing is bad. I don't think the timing is bad. And this is a very simple bill, not very complicated at all. All four amendments in a row, like 77th Amendment, 81st Amendment, 82nd, 85th right, Amendment, right. clear the thing. On that it's note. It's a very simple, very simple. On that have, note, sir. Exactly. On that note, I must end the show. I must thank all my guests before I leave. D. Raja joined us as well. Uh, Mr. Ajay Kumar, thank you so much for joining uh, the big picture. Zafar Saifullah, as well as Dr. Udit Raj. Of course, like Mr. Ajay Kumar said, education and equal education perhaps just might be the key which could take us from a difficult position here, our polity and our country, uh, to, to a much, much better place that we all desire to be at. That's all the time we have on the big picture. Atar Khan saying goodbye, good night, and thanks for watching.